so strange, they scream. Why do they keep breaking? I know what makes them tick. I know how to make the ticking stop. Hey guys, this is Sherry Lewis. This is my entry for the NYX Face Awards. I did Sone Chaos Oriana. She's from a video game called The League of Legends. Uh, a lot of this is done with makeup and acrylic paints, minus the hair. Um, it is actually done with yarn. I just glued it to my forehead and then sprayed it and pinned it back. Uh, a lot of this I did away from home. I'm actually not home. I'm in a completely different country but when I saw this I knew I had to do it I had to at least try so I hope this gets uh, noticed somehow some way and I make it into the next round of the NYX Face Awards thank you we're gonna start this look off by covering up our eyebrows now why we want to cover up our eyebrows is because later on we're gonna be painting them and it's gonna be really stubborn if we have these little baby hairs uh, getting in the way of our paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the glue stick and we're going to put a coat of glue over it and then press it down. I'm just using the back side of the cap to make sure that all the hairs are straight and they're going the same way. I don't want anything poking up like I said. Um, I'm also going to do two to three coats of this and just wait for it to dry. Once it's dry you want to apply a layer of loose powder. The next thing you want to do is apply a very light color. I'm using 110 Fit by Maybelline. Uh, I'm actually really pale, so this is basically my skin tone color, of course. If you don't have one and you can't find it, you can always add white to your cover-up. You don't necessarily have to put the cover up inside your eye because we're going to be painting that. Once you've applied your cover up, you just want to take a white pencil liner and draw around your eyes. This is going to be your guideline for your stitches. For the stitches, all I did was took a lime green acrylic paint. And what I'm going to be doing is painting thin lines along my eye sockets. They don't have to be necessarily the same. Just try to even them out on both sides though. The next thing you want to do is use a lime green that's a lot darker and what we're going to be doing is creating an ombre effect to give the stitches more depth but still keep them looking cartoonish. The next step you want to do is take a liquid eyeliner or even a gel liner. In this case I'm using an acrylic paint and we're going to be outlining the stitches. Once you're done add two lines to make them look like they're stitched into your face. It should look something like this once you've done it all on each side. The next thing you want to do is start tracing that white guideline that we made originally. Uh, that's going to be your baseline for the eye sockets. Once you've finished outlining, you want to start filling in. So I took a slightly larger brush with a flat end, and I'm going to be dragging the paint downwards. Make sure that you don't cover the whole thing in with black because we're going to be creating the uh, pink X's for Oriana's eyes. Now we're going to take a baby pink, and we're going to be creating X's in the middle of the eye socket. These are going to be later on ombre and outlined.
As you can see here, I'm taking the baby pink and a hot pink and I'm creating an ombre. This is going to create definition in the eye. The next thing you want to do is take a thin black brush and start outlining the cross of your eye. You're going to go completely around the eye and I'll show you later on what you're supposed to be doing on the inside. So you can see where I did the cross, of course I messed up a little bit, so I'm just filling in the rest of the eye while that dries so I can go back over it and fix it up. This is what it should look like once you're done. Next I'm going to contour the side of my nose, I'm just using a dark purple. You can use any dark purple eyeshadow to contour your face. In Oriana's Splash Art, the shadows casted on her seem to be a purple, so that's what I'm going to be using right now. Once you've finished contouring the side of your nose, you just want to go with a little bit of purple and spread it out from the black circles that you made around your eyes. This is going to create a little bit of depth and also uh, make the eyes look a little bit better. For the nose stitches, Oriana has a few small stitches on each side of her nose, so I'm going to create four small stitches using the same effect that I did on the eye. Now it's time to create Oriana's lips. I'm just using a cover-up, you can use a concealer, anything that's going to cover the color of your lips so we can draw a new set on. Now I'm going to do some baby doll lips and I'm taking Candy Yum Yum by MAC. You can take any bright pink Barbie looking lipstick and apply it in the shape that I'm doing right now. Once you've finished applying it, you can take a smaller brush and just fix it up a little bit. Now I'm taking that baby pink I used in my eyes and creating a small ombre on my lips. To make my lips look more cartoony, I'm adding a little bit of purple on the outside and outlining them and then bringing it in to make a slight ombre. Now we're going to create the mouth stitches. They're going to be done exactly the same way as we did them on the eyes and nose, except they're going to be slightly larger and we're going to be doing three on each side of the mouth. We're going to start out with the larger one closest to the mouth and the first we go away is the smaller we're going to make the stitch. Make a small line connecting through the middles of all the stitches. Now I'm going to take the black and start outlining my lips. I'm actually going to put a little bit of black uh, to make it look almost like there's a cloth space in between my lips and I'm just painting directly on the natural shape of my lip.
Once you've completed that, you want to make some small lines to make it look like there's small stitches inside the mouth. Now I'm going to take that same purple and I'm going to slightly contour the temples of my head, the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit of my cupid's bow, underneath my lip, and on my chin. Now I'm taking this pink that I used on my lips and on my eyelids. I'm going to be painting just underneath my chin along my jawline and down along uh, my collarbones. We're going to be creating three to four large stitches along my neck. Make sure to not put any stitches in the middle for you can put a zipper if you would like. 